absolutely beautiful. Well, it's semi-finals day here at the Yonex Thailand Open. First of three tournaments in three consecutive weeks. Already completed six of our ten semi-finals. It's not been a good day for Korea so far, has it? I wonder if they can turn things around in uh, this next match, which is the second women's doubles. It's the home pair, the number seven seeds, Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai, in their third semi-final here, looking to reach their first final at their home event. They're up against the number four seeds, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young, who were in seven finals in 2019. After the women's doubles, we'll have women's singles and the world number one, Tai Su Ying, as she's been in the final of her last three tournaments. She's trying to make it four finals in four tournaments played, but she's up against Mia Blickfeld, who beat the reigning world champion, Busala Venkata Sindhu, in the first round. Then it's a men's singles, and it's a repeat of the last Thailand Open final, Unka Long, against the defending champion, Cho Tien Chen. And then we finish with the second men's singles, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, up against the former world champion and former world number one, Victor Axelsen. So as far as the women's doubles draw is concerned, by quarter-final stage, three Korean pairs, as you can see, two from Thailand. So only five different nationalities and only five seeds. Mind you, we only started with five seeds, two seeds in the top half of the draw, and both made it through to the semi-final stage. Gracia Poli and Adriani Rahayu, who have won the title twice previously, came through the first of the semi-finals in three games against Lee Sohee, who had been beaten in the final in 2015, playing with Chang Ye Na. This year, she's playing with Shin Xiang Chan. So, Chong Kong Pan, Kitty Harakun, and Rawinda Prajongjai. Third semi final here at their home event. Their opponents from Korea, here they are, led out by Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. Making only their second appearance as a pair. The Koreans here at this event, they played in the last Thailand Open. They lost in the second round to the number eight seeds, Du Yue and Li Yin Wei, who went all the way through to the final before being beaten on the final day. Black. Red. Black. Black for you, red for you. So, this is the fifth Perfect. meeting That's between fine. these two pairs, and as you can see, the Koreans have the advantage, having won three of the previous four. And the Koreans, in fact, have won the last two meetings. The last time they met was in the second round of the All England Super 1000 last year 21 13, 21 15 in 46 minutes. And these two pairs have played each other. It's only gone to three games once, and that was the time that Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai won in the final of the 2019 Chinese Taipei Super 300 event. 28-26 in the third. Would be happy with a match like that, wouldn't we, Steve? As we look at Kitty Harakun. 27 years of age from the ancient city of Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. Uh, they're currently number 11 in the world ranking, as you can see, but they have been as high as six. One week at number six in the world. Uh, that was in July 2018. Rawinda Prajongjai, also 27 years of age, born here in the Thai capital, Bangkok. They were semi-finalists, as I say, twice before, 2016, when they lost out to Matsumoto and Nagahara, who then lost in the final, and again in 2018, when they lost out uh, to the Olympic champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi. 
Well, they've uh, twice played uh, teammates in their route through to today's semi-final, uh, but mention of the second round match against the European Championship silver medalist from 2018, Emily Lafell, the left-hander, and Antoine. And Lafell needs mention because she's come back from a ruptured Achilles tendon injury and wonderful to see her back on court once more. So to the Koreans, they're the number four seeds. And this is Kim so Young, 28 years of age from Daegu. And she's played in this particular event, the Thailand Open, Ready with three different play. partners. In fact, at least last 16 with three different partners. Second appearance as a pair, as I was telling you. And for Kong Hee Young, well, she turned 24 last month. They on their way through to today's semi-final. In the first round, they beat the Commonwealth Games bronze medalists, Ashwini Ponapa and Siki Reddy, very convincingly. Then in the second round, Chala Chalam and uh, Mueng Wong, beaten finalists from four years ago here at the Thailand Open. And a quarter-final against the English pair, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. And that, as you can see, very comfortable indeed. 21-8, 21-11. So our court officials for this one from Iran and Indonesia, um, Monsurei Chajium and Robertus Tommy Oscariano. So they've consistently done well in their home events, this Thai combination. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Jungkul Pan Kidakar Kol and Ravinda Parajongjai, Thailand. And on my left, Kong Hee Young and Kim So Young, Korea. Kim So Young to serve to Jungkul Pan Kidakar Kol. Love all. So the number four seeds from Korea nearest to us in the all-white kit getting this semi-final underway. <laughs> well, Steen, the Korean combination, you and I have One, watched many times. No. And uh, certainly in 2019, I was mentioning that they were in seven finals, winning four of them. Uh, Spain Masters, New Zealand Open, Japan Open, which was a 750 event, and the Korean Open as well. And they've got very solid defences, haven't they? And the question in my mind is whether the Thai combination have got enough firepower to actually break down that defence. Yeah, that's a really good Second question. One, and, um, oh. You can say that... Um, it was Prachong Jai and Kitty Harakun who won the coin toss and elected to start on the far side of the court, playing with the drift. So um, I don't know if that's because they feel they have an easier task of killing the attack. I, I think it might be. So they want to get a good start. Yeah. Well, of course, everybody wants to get a good start, but you've got a better chance if you're attacking and you're hitting with the drift. Yeah. And. Also, this um, situation where they are behind in the head-to-heads and so on, so it's easy to get a little bit disheartened if you, if you lose the first game and Three, perhaps get a little bit of a bad one. start in the second. But we saw in the previous match, Wang Chilin and uh, Li Yang, they were behind in the head-to-head. -head. They lost the first game, but they got a really good start to the second game. So yeah. if you really believe in yourself, it's of course still a possibility. But both play both pairs very convincing so far hasn't really faced tough resistance in the tournament yet. So what happens when uh, at least one of these two pairs lose the first game here, that's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah. Three, 
clever drop shot from Kim So Young. Four, oh. And the other argumentation um, in terms of choosing sides is, of course, that for Prachongja and Kitty Harakun, it's difficult to really um, put pressure on their opponent's uh, backcourt here. So. Um, Pretty much the only um, possible way is the attack in the first game. So maybe they are. Uh, that's, that's another possibility that they're seeing this as the bad side, and in the second game they can utilize all the court of their opponents. So. Um, yeah. It depends how you how you see the situation when you uh, make your game plan ahead of the match. Where do you see your strengths and weaknesses compared to um, your opponents? Ah! Oh. Perfect return of serve. Got the net cord. Five. Trickled oh. over. Take a look at this. Well, you don't get any better than that. A little fortunate, some may say. But then again, these players, they practice hitting the top of the tape on the yes. short service returns. That's well long. Six, ah, the drift five. is significant, isn't it? And in my opinion, it's, it's the um, most severe drift we've seen this week. the same it's just the shot is perhaps a little bit uh, faster Thanks it's over. it's difficult to tell Six, but but four. at least you've got to be more careful playing the back court of uh, the near end here so as of now it's this woman and her partner that has to think a little bit when they um, play the back court and that means you'd rather be in balance all the time because then you much better at being accurate as when you lose balance then you also lose accuracy mm, nice idea Seven, I like six. the idea of trying to block and move forward Smash over. from Kim Seven. So Young. Oh. Straight in between the two Thailand players. Absolute perfection. Yeah, we'd just love to see you, both of your <laughs> opponents swinging for um, the shuttle. Across the body of oh, Kim So Young. a little bit more focused on the um, low services from um, their opponents in this game here. They know that it's going to be difficult to control the flick. If they can Ooh, that was getting wide, faster. Yeah, I think no! would have needed some help from the side wrist drift in, yeah. in order to get in. Nine, eight. And that's a good point, Steam, because if, if you've got such problems controlling that flick serve, 
then your opponent knows that basically they can take the chance to, to really hunt the low yeah. serve. They can't move before the serve is struck, but they really do focus on the return of serve. And, and if you can uh, be 95% focused on coming forward, you can be faster. Yeah. And if you fear for the uh, flicker. Needed her partner to smash in uh, a good place, though, to set her up at the net. Yep. Oh, well taken by John Kitty Harakun. been very positive in their defensive play and turning their defense into attack the tie combination and their advantage or their reward is a two-point advantage here in the opening game so Part of the first ever pair, women's doubles pair to win the Thailand Open from the host nation. She won in 2012 with Marissa Pat Lam. saying ask your opponent first 11 if 9 they agree that's Aye. fine but Aye. ask me as well just so that i know what's going on Aye. just wrong service over 10 11 do you expect any change here from the Koreans to try and get a change in, in fortune? Um, I'm not sure. They tend to rely a lot on their playing style, but I mean, if, if they can get the length on their defense right, the Koreans, then there's no need to change. But if they play a little bit shorter, no! she took a chance out of position and um, Eleven. Uh, it's very oh. difficult to um, to control it. If if they can't, if if um, the Thailand pair is, is um, making getting themselves into better positions, uh, closer uh, to the middle of the court, I think the Thailand pair have a chance of of killing it from there. And then the Koreans need to change um, attitude or approach to this uh, game and and be more attacking in order to prevent um, their opponents from attacking. So that's what's so. Um, special about drifty conditions you basically yeah. have to attack on both sides it's a good lift now there's a chance a lovely defensive shot well four points played since the 13, 11. Mid game interval and all four points won by the number four seeds Kim and Kong
forward in their defense on the first possibility from their opponents has uh, Kim and uh, Kong. So they can play a much better shot from the uh, front court. Good rally. the longest rally of the match too. Oi, that's a good shot. was very One, important. 13. I just sensed as far as the tie combination were concerned. They'd lost four straight points since the resumption of play. Yeah, I totally agree, especially the way the rally unfolded, that they had the initiative in the beginning and uh, ended up having to give it away, still managed to win it. That was Maybe. very encouraging. the longest rally of the match so far. two rallies the trouble starts in the service return which becomes way too short and that gives the advantage to uh, Prachongtai and Kitihara Kun they can put so much pressure on the third shot because um, the lack of quality from the Koreans in those two rallies service over 14 all I feel that this is a very, very important phase of the match, Steen. Yeah, I think so too. I'm just not Thank sure you. exactly how it, it's going to proceed. I mean, the first game is important, I'm, I'm certain of that, but um, I have a feeling right now that, that the Koreans are um, the favourites to, to win it, but... <coughs> but uh, I'm not totally certain. No. So that I'm suggesting that this is a must win first game for, for Kitty Harakon and Prachong Jai. Oh, it's wide. Yep. She's not happy with herself. I think they're also very tensed um, yeah. at the court. Um, it's the first match this year, perhaps for nine months, where they've been under pressure. First game where they've been under pressure.
good serve. Oh, that was short. Oh, my goodness. The left was so short. Neither of the Thai players were moving for that drop shot at all. All she had to do was get it over and in. Oh, that's a big miss. Look where her feet are. She's about half court area. Kim So Young. Oh, well finished off. I like that backhand kill from Fra Jong Jai. Suddenly, the smallest of gaps to the um, advantage of Kitty Harakun and uh, Prachongdai. driving that shuttle across court. Fabulous shot. Four straight points. 16. What did you think? Yeah, I, I saw it out as well. Uh, I would actually bet quite an amount on it being long, but that was a break challenge. <laughs> challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Which was, in my opinion, clever enough. Service over. Just managed to create that little gap 17, that they um, that they need. So just get your head together Eight. and uh, be ready again. Oi, oi, oi. Took it. Yeah, they won the rally anyway, but my goodness. Service over. For Jong Jai, taking one that we both thought was clearly out. Twenty game point seventeen. But it may not matter because it's three game point opportunities <laughs> for the home pair. their first game point opportunity. The number seven seeds, Kibiharakun and Prajongjai, take the opening game against the number four seeds, Kim So Young and Kong He Young. 21-17. Opening game. Fluctuating fortunes. Mm. Is this tie pair that came out on top? in 21 minutes. Yeah, 
괜찮아. 여기 다 실수. 아웃 쳐주고, 드롭 실수하고, 이런 걸로 분위기 흐름 밖에 안 나가요. 그런 거 조금만 Well, what a super opening game by Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai. Taking it 21 17 against game. number four seeds Kim and Kong. Double. Play. Hey. That's one left. That's left to right Sensor. drift coming into play one. on that one. Love. I think she just missed One. it. Oh. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Almost on the red carpet, that one. It was so far along. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Service over. Two. Blocker move oh. forward on the defence, but the block going just past the net area, making the rear court player move forward. Oh, yes, well taken. Very well taken. Three, two. I have a feeling that the uh, Kong Hee Young, uh, she's a little bit um, <laughs> above the optimal tension level. <laughs> well, that <laughs> rally will certainly Four, help settle her nerves, two. if you're it right, will. Steen. Like she's just been waiting to play matches like this and really want to uh, do as well as possible. Sometimes you have to uh, fall down a little bit in the tension level. Service over. Three, four. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's too steep. Four, that was an extraordinary four. defensive shot, wasn't it, earlier on in the rally? Turned into a very good shot. Safety shoes on the last one there. Save is over. Five, four. It's really dangerous for the pair playing the near end here if um, their service returns towards the backcourt can be intercepted by the backcourt player. Because that's a position where the shuttle arrives really fast. Again, back at you at your own court. It's a much better return. Service over. Five. Oh. Uh, yeah, good placement of the smash to the right hip of Kitty Harakun. Six. Five. 
He's almost jumping up and down all the time, trying out shots and so on. Who, Kong? Yeah. Female Keiko Sonoda. Well, not quite, but... <laughs> no, uh, I was going to say. <laughs> She's not that fidgety. No. <laughs> See what uh, we're seeing here in the arena. Kim So Young talking to uh, Kong Hee Young. Interpreted as a lot of reassuring and getting the tactics on the same page. It's going to go wide. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the, the tank shuttles that were going out Seven. and the shuttles that are landing Six. in. They're rattled. The Koreans think, are I think, rattled. I think they are. I think they are. That was not the correct length on that lift, but still, Prachongja and Kitiharakun, they're they are able to stand their ground in the defense. That's that's a good sign for them. Service over. 7 0. Oh. Eight, seven. Oh. What a clever Eight, return of serve. Yeah. Too high to my taste, that low serve from Kong Young. We could see that from um, the side camera. It's going right. out. Flat smash, then a Seven half four. smash, then a drop shot. Ten, Variation. So, ten all. Who's going to have the advantage at the mid game interval? Answer is the number four seeds from Korea, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young.
그러고 올릴 때잖아. 그냥 높게 올려줘. 높게 올려줘. 죽어 들어가. 왜냐면 여기 지금 빨리 올리 기다리고 있단 말이야. 수면식 때문에 드라이브 오니까 그거 보고 잘하고 있으니까 처음부터 다시 차분하게 하면 돼. 영화 잘하고 있어. 어. 계속. 봐. 드라이브 돼. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So just one point in it. Eleven, ten. Play. This could be a, a good little phase for the Koreans. She's working really hard, Kim Soo-young, from the back court, maintaining the attack. four straight points. Not satisfied with herself there, Kim Soo Young. 14. They've upped their aggression, though, since the mid-game interval, haven't I they? I think they have, and I, I, I have a feeling that, that Kim Soo Young is trying to increase the pace and that she feels she's got to do a little bit more. It, it might be that I've sort of... Um, stare at myself blind on, on Kong Hee Young but, but I feel that um, today she's been she's been strong only when the lifts were really really short and she was at the backcourt so if I were the Thai player I would um, I would target her a lot more when she's at the net to try to play it below the tape try to move her when she's on the backcourt um, I think it's Kim Soo Young who is the um, decisive force now with the Koreans even though she made that big uh, smash mistake earlier on. Service over. 12. Yeah, and from a, a Thai perspective, I feel that all the Thai pair, not all they need to do, but if they just somehow keep the shuttle going yep. down, then, like that last one, and no power on their attack, the Koreans try and impart power on their defensive shots and start hitting long of the back line. Exactly, and, and they have no um, counter yeah. possibilities, more or less. Service over. 16, 12. 
Well. They have to try and turn it around flat, and then it opens up opportunities for the um, the front court player. So it's return every time for Dinda. Come back. <laughs> nice block. Come on, come back. <laughs> Wide. <laughs> That's too short. Back at her. <laughs> oh, she's missed it. Yeah. Service over. 13, 16. When Kong played that one. I would have liked the type her to play back at her at the net and get her to lift. Shorts as well. has moved up the court by a metre or so. Yeah. Yeah. Which is clever. 17, yeah. 13. So they have a, a better chance, more probability that they can play some um, flat replies. That's not a good choice by um, Harakun. A little bit off balance, shuttle over left shoulder. That last one, variation on the pace, yeah. did the damage. 14, and it's not 17. the first time we've seen Kong a little slow on the front court there. It's a beautiful drop, though. It is. I would think that the gap that they've created, the Koreans, should be big enough to um, also decide on that. Service over. 18, 14. Pressure from the front Service from throw John Jai. sort of tactic that I was alluding to earlier. You don't have to hit it hard. No. 
just go at it going in a downward direction and it's so difficult for the Koreans to get a good length on their defensive play. Service over 1916 That tension still hasn't left her, has it, even no. though they've they've got this advantage. No, she's clearly the weak link at the moment. Come here, young. Yeah. yeah. Just two points the deficit now. That's well played. That's terrible. That was Doi playing outside of the post. My <laughs> goodness, the lucky net cord from Kong Hee Yong, and it means that the number four seeds from Korea have three game point opportunities to level this semi final at one game apiece. Look at that, it thundered off the top of the tape. Second game to the Koreans, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. Umpire confirms that scoreline 21 17. So symmetry in the scoreline. Both games won and lost to 17. One game all. Final game, level 
So final game of this women's doubles semi-final. Nothing, literally nothing to choose between them so far. First two games won by the same scoreline. Wait, let's go wide. Service over. One love. interesting thing here in the um, first part of the third game is to see whether the Koreans have um, learned anything from the first game and playing the second game on the far side of the court have they figured out how to play this near side of the court where both pairs have lost the game Ambitious. One, it turned into two. a beauty. I thought again, as you noticed in the first game, Joe, that Koreans they push the defense forward or their defensive stance forward, so that they can uh, reply well on the front court. There, and there was a lot of battle, a uh, flat game battle, in that rally. It's not been a good get day for Korea so far. No. They've contested three previous semi finals and lost all three of them. Mixed doubles, men's Did doubles, they have four? women's singles. Yeah. And this is the fourth semi final that Korean players are involved in. Uh, no! Service over. Three. Lost her footing. Service over. Three, four. This yes, just seemed to stumble. And uh, took a small, small step in the wrong direction away from the <laughs> shuttle. Oh, that's lovely. That was a lovely shot from Rawinda for Jungjai. Stepped into the defensive shot, didn't she? She walked into it and just guided it across court. Look at that. Follows forward. So it's over. Five. Three. Hey. Oh. Oh. Ah. Save 
it's over. Four, five. It's very little to choose between these two pairs, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Good service return there by um, Kim So Young. Placement of the smash. Service over. Six, four. Yeah, but they're targeting the player that you suggested they should target. Yeah, I, I would like to see them target her even more <coughs> if I were coaching them. I feel that at the moment she's only really contributing in all out defense or all out uh, attack. Only really dangerous if she comes. Um, inside the uh, double service line on the back court. So I would like to see them move her and uh, play soft around her and in front of her. I think that would um, give them many opportunities. I must also say though on the other hand that um, if I were the Koreans um, and I was in good position I would try to target for John Dar because she's made a, a number of um, I wouldn't say um, it's been really severe errors it's just been things where she's been a little bit unlucky a little bit uh, hesitant or something like that so so a battle between um, the one with the uh, are they pink or orange shoes and Hong um, Kong the smaller of the two Korean players But of course, it's not so easy to exploit it. It's not like they can't no. get the shuttle over. Sometimes uh, I can hear that <laughs> the way I'm explaining it, it sounds like that they can't play, but uh, that's not the case at all. There's a chance. going to make every effort to get there yeah. had it have come <laughs> over. <laughs> she hadn't fallen by herself, then her partner would have sweep the legs under her. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, a little it, means break. A, it means a lot to them though, doesn't it? The yeah. Thai pair Eight, haven't six. had a home pair in the women's double <laughs> final for four years. And five years since a uh, Thai pair won the women's doubles here. Okay. Hello, play by Kim Soo Young. That was where the Koreans stepped forward in the second game. So is that, my goodness, that's delightful from Trajongjai. Yeah, that's yeah. a beauty. Thank you. Play it. before that I Nine, thought that she was six. the one making a major part of the errors on the Thai side of the court but she's also making the major part of the creative shots yes yep and when you are 
the more creative player you're allowed to make more mistakes than your partner in my yeah. opinion well it comes with the territory doesn't it because yep. if you're trying to be creative and and uh, find the gaps and so on it the inevitably by definition they're more risky shots yeah, and it's just doing the numbers i mean if you make a lot of winners and make a little bit fewer mistakes then you're coming out on the uh, right side seven yeah. over seven nine Too long. Service over. Ten seven. Eleven seven. That would be. That would be a good lead. Before the change events. Indeed, it is a, an 11-7 advantage for Kitty Harakun and Rajongjoy. Yeah, it is four points enough against the number four seeds from Korea. <laughs> Well, of course, the Karoons will have the psychological advantage, having played better from the far side seven. of the court. But four points when it's been so tight all the way through. Yeah. Play. And the most important thing is that there's a lot of pressure on them on these first two rallies, three rallies. Delivered on the first. Eight. And that's why it becomes more efficient, in my opinion, when Kim So Young is at the backcourt. She's a little bit uh, steeper in her attack than uh, the uh, smaller Kong. More flat smashes, more powerful smashes. That's over. 12, 8. That's a terrible misjudgment by Kung Hee Yong. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that looked a nervous shot to me. Point cushion now for the tie combination. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bounced off the top of the tape, the return of serve. Going yeah, long. It was. That right, certainly has. Service over. 49. 
Yeah. Well, she put that away with Venom. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't going to take any risks <laughs> <No. laughs> after the last time, the previous time, where she missed it in the net. That became a really good shot, that cross backhand from Kong Hee Young there. Yeah. Total misunderstanding. Yeah. After yeah, such a good smash. But oh my goodness, defensively, she'd been committed to the backhand and had the time and the understanding to change and play that forehand defence. Extraordinary. Wow, that came off the frame. Yeah. 13, 15. The squeal of celebration there from the Koreans. Yeah, she's played much more solid lately, uh, Kong Hee Young, in my opinion. I think actually it's changed a little bit on the far side of the court. That um, if I were the time coach, I would advise them to uh, play a little bit extra on uh, Kim Soo Young now because Kong looks more solid. She's not really making mistakes. And the lead is gone. 14, yeah. Just 15. one point in it now. And it's stiffened up at 14-9. Uh, Be going long. That's going wide. Yeah. Ah! That's ah! Well, that was mightily important for 16, the tie combination, 14. having just lost five of the last six points. now aren't they? I think they are. 15, 16. I think they started thinking at 14-9, maybe conscious, maybe unconscious, that um, this might actually be happening. Yes. Third semi-final, thinking it might be third time lucky. Confidence, yeah. Kong. She's not making any mistakes. She's hard to score oh. against at the moment. So from that five-point deficit, now back level. And now, psychologically different for the difficult for the Thai pair. Yeah. And now 
behind the lead. 17-16. Eight of the last ten points. Tie pair, and indeed they do. Seventeen, oh. Awful lot of this is going to come down to who's got the nerve. Yeah. Yeah, they're taking their time. Shows the tension. Shows the pressure. Landed in. 18, and Kim So Young, I think, saying to her partner, think about the drift. Yeah. It's holding up this end of the court. fortunes once again 17. and now a two-point advantage for Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai and two points away from a place in the final ah, but that's well played in this dangerous two-point lead 19-17-2018 2018 is a little bit more comfortable than 1917, but you start believing that you're close to the goal, and you are, but you're definitely not there yet. Landed in. It's 19 all. 19 Both oh. the Thai players were pressing, pressing forward, encroaching in on the net, and they left a big, big gap down their forehand side. Oh my goodness, the tension. Who's going to have the match point opportunity? Play. Good serve. Oh, goodness. Well, the error from Kim So Young. Match point and it's match point opportunity for the Thai pair. She's advocating that it's a fault. Kim So Young. Match point. She moved too quick. She you know. moved quickly. Wasn't called. The wide. Match point has gone a begging. It's 20 all. An oh. extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. It's been a thriller this third game here. It has. <laughs> oh, that's gone off. Oh, no, he's landed in. Second 
match point Sorry, opportunity sorry. for the home pair. 21-20. She couldn't have played that one on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a new shuttle. Yeah. Play. In their third semi-final at long last they have made it through to the final of their home events Kitty Harakan and Prajongjai and look at the delight my goodness they had to battle hard for that winning 22 20 in the deciding game on their second match point opportunity they look to be cruising at 49 and then their opponents caught back up what a thriller so after a four-year wait the host nation will have a pair in the women's doubles final tomorrow there's confirmation of the score 21 17 17 21 22 20 in the deciding game so coming up next it's the second of the women's singles and it's the world number one tai su ying against mia blickfeldt <laughs> 